What's up guys, Mick here aka Dub Gaming and with the 2k servers down I decided to look at one thing I was looking through the rosters and noticed this every single player's 3 point rating has gone down no matter what they're brought up their 3 point rating has dropped Miritich went from an 85 shot 3 to a 67 I was just looking J.R. Smith shot great this year went from an 86 to a 79 and then other players, Redick went from an 82 to an 81, was the third, fourth or fifth highest three point percentage. And you're thinking, oh, fair enough, well surely they can't drop someone like, I don't know, Kyle Corver. And they did. From a 94 shot three to an 89. Someone who shot nearly 50% from three, they bring them down three. This Kyle Corver, who had one of the best shooting seasons ever, is lower rated from three than the 95-96 MJ who shot, I know he shot over 40% MJ, but the 3 point line was in even closer. So that's just ridiculous now. Um, other players you wouldn't really, you'd be sure that wouldn't be dropped are, I don't know, let's see, Paul George, he played like 5 games this season, started off with an 88-3, what's he have now? An 80. Really? Was that enough grounds to drop him on? Players like Eric Gordon had the shooting season of his life, was second only to Kyle Corver in three-point percentage, and his three-pointer is an 84. It's an 84. Worse than the Ruby LaMarcus Aldridge in my team. Like, that's ridiculous. And then Harden's three-pointer, down to a 76. And you're thinking, oh, surely they can't drop the MVP or Clay Thompson, who they gave a 97 shot three to in my team. And they did. 88, and Curry went down to an 89. And like, fair enough, you might be thinking, oh, they're just trying to lower everyone's ratings. But look at these. Um, there was no three-point line in Jerry West State. And he's an 85 shot three. Pete Maravich, who... And this is another ridiculous thing. Pete Maravich would have been one of the best shooters ever if there was three-point line. They gave him a 78. And... Larry Bird was never an incredible, was a good three-point shooter for his time, was a great shooter, but was never absolutely outstanding. A 94 shot three. If you look, MJ here, like really, this MJ, how he has a 90 shot three is absolutely beyond me. He's a three-pointer higher than Kyle Corver, than Steph Curry, two of the best shooters ever. And MJ's when the three-point line wasn't moved forward, when it was actually at its proper distance, MJ shot about 30% from three, which is terrible by today's standards. And look, players that shoot better than Kyle Corver. He's the same. Detlef Shrimp, apparently, is the same rating as Kyle Corver. And suddenly, the three-point line gets brought back in, and they give MJ a 73-shot three. Like, it's just, it's just stupid, this 95-96 MJ. Like, it's absolutely ridiculous. The card shouldn't have that high shooting stats. Look, let's see some others. I don't know, there's not really that many people with shooting stats way higher than they should. But actually, no, look at this as well. The recent updates. Ray Allen didn't play this year. Steve Nash didn't play at all this year. So let's see. Steve Nash started off with an 84-3. What's he at now? 76. Really? Ray Allen? Um, had a 91 shot 3 I think it was in NBA 2K14 and at the start of this year in the original rosters I think he had a 90 77 for Ray Allen I'm pretty sure if Ray Allen went back to the NBA he'd still be able to shoot a 3 pointer he can't just lower his stats for no reason like I was looking through this is absolutely ridiculous what they're doing with 3 point ratings so yeah thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe 